Hey everyone, this is Rocky. It's currently 5.29 p.m. Uh, it's Sunday, July 26, 2020. I wanted to talk to you today about my trade on the Micro E-Mini S&P 500. Uh, before I do get started, just wanted to let you know that this is just for educational and informational and I guess entertainment purposes only. My goal here is to share uh, what I've experienced so far trading uh, micro features and also to learn from the community for any suggestions you may have that could help me improve my, my trading. My strategy is pretty simple. If you look at my other videos and again my goal is to be a better trader. Uh, before I get started I wanted to talk about the two charts that I do have here. As you can tell it is live since the market is open in Asia. It opens at 3 p.m. Pacific time on Sunday uh, as far as futures goes. Uh, the different markets is Hong Kong, Japan, China, they all have uh, their different start time. But specifically for the futures market, it starts at 3 p.m. Pacific time. So on the left here, uh, this is a, a, a time chart. Uh, I have one hour candles that I have here. As you can tell right here, uh, the time in the bottom, that was one o'clock on Friday. And then right when it opened, uh, denoted by this dotted line here, uh, it starts at 3 p.m. in the bottom there. Uh, I like to use a one hour candle on the left. Uh, it gives me a good uh, indication of how the overall trend is, is doing. And what I have on the right here is a tick chart. Uh, this is a lot more helpful for me uh, as a day trader. And let me just show you where the 3 p.m. is, again, denoted by the gray dotted line there. Um, as you can tell, oh, before I get to that, uh, I do use 512 ticks. And uh, what I'm using here is a Heikinashi. Uh, it really helps me see the trend a lot cleaner. Uh, again, it's really up to you as a trader what your, your preference is. Uh, the two indicators that I really look for before starting a trade is uh, to see that there's an agreement with the stochastic RSI right here and the MACD. So normally my strategy is if, uh, if the MACD is bearish, as you can tell here, it's crossed the line. Uh, and it's in agreement with the stochastic RSI, which is trending down. Um, that's usually when uh, I like to short. But normally, I like to short when the MACD is below the zero line. But for this instance here, um, I, I was able to see that the trend on the left for the, at 3 o'clock was a very bearish candle. And that's the reason why I, I started a short position. Uh, I I shorted with four contracts. Yeah, initially I started at uh, twenty five oh five fifty on one contract, and followed that up with uh, three more contracts at thirty two oh seven. Uh, and before I get any further, uh, let me explain what this color coding that I have here. Uh, like I mentioned, I I did two trades today. Uh, when I start a trade, I like to denote that by a light blue dotted line or dash line and uh, when I get out of that contract uh, when it's a short I use purple uh, but if it's a long position I normally put orange in the end and this is my my second trade here anyway uh, getting back to my first trade uh, zoom in a little here uh, as I mentioned uh, when the line crossed that's when I started watching it and when it finally reached zero that's when I started the short position and once I have a short position and I'm at a point where I know I have a broke even because I do pay commissions and fees on Thinkorswim, I normally uh, place an OCO or one cons one uh, sorry one cancels the other uh, as an exit strategy. It's essentially just a a limit order on one side and a stop order on the other side. So that way. I either take a profit or a loss, uh, depending on where that bracket is. Uh, you can see more of that on the 
the actual live video after this. Um, and uh, one of my strategies is I try not to go for the moon. I try to manage my risk. Uh, and uh, this was, uh, I managed it very well, I would say here, because as soon as uh, the trend was starting to go back up, back up a little bit, uh, my stop loss uh, kicked in and I was able to make a profit of about $82.74 on this first trade here. And then normally I don't start a new trade right away. Uh, I like to give myself some time to you know, take a break. Uh, I am a full-time trader, but uh, that's, not all I, that's not all I do uh, the whole day. That's why I like the micro feature since it's available 24-6. So I had the flexibility to trade whenever I want. Uh, what was great is a few minutes about, well, the first trade started at about 3.10, ended it at 3.25. And again, I saw another opportunity around 3.45 here. Uh, as you can tell uh, from the MACD, uh, I was expecting that to cross, but it didn't. It was rejected there. And I was seeing it trending down and it was in agreement with the stochastic RSI. And that's the reason why I again opened a short contract at 3,200. And it was the same strategy, you know, once I'm break even, I place an OCO. Uh, OCO, once again, is uh, one cancel the other, which is a bracket that I have where I have a limit or to get the profits or a stop loss to either, you know, stop my losses or keep whatever gain I have so far. And it worked out properly uh, for this trade from about 3.45 to about 4.02. I made uh, about $100.24 uh, with four contracts. And uh, this was a, a nice trade here from, you know, a total of $182.98 for less than an hour of trade. Uh, again, that's my analysis of the trade I took today. I uh, hope you... Uh, enjoyed it, please let me know if you have any questions or any feedback that could help my my trading improve. As you can see, I'm glad I got out of that because the trend did reverse back. Uh, I'll probably continue trading again uh, for the rest of the, or Sunday, or in later this evening, but I uh, wanted to make this video for these two specific trades that I did right when the market opened here on Sunday. July 26th. All right, have a good one.